The biggest excuse that we hear people making that, oh, I can't get into publishing because I don't have any money, but it's just an excuse. You can literally get started with publishing for absolutely no money. Yes, you have to put in the work and we're doing it ourselves right now. We're going to talk about exactly how you can do that because you can literally write your own books. It sounds intimidating and scary, but it's much easier than you think. And so let's talk about how to do that. And then all the other costs as well. You don't have to pay anything to actually get started with publishing. So let's talk about exactly how to do that. So let's talk about how anyone can get started with publishing, audiobook publishing for literally free. Zero monies, but first, we will be doing a series of Q&A videos, so in, this, in the comment section, please drop questions that you have for us and we will answer them. Hashtag ask a twin. Yeah. Hashtag ask a twin and we, in one of the upcoming Q&A videos, we will be answering it to the best of our abilities. No holding back. Yep. And it can be about anything. It can be about, about publishing. Anything. It can be about this puppy. It can be about the puppy, about what living about... in Bali is like. Yeah. It can be about relationships. <laughs> it can be about fucking what anything, anything that's on your mind. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was the first thing. Now let's get into the topic, which is how anyone can get started publishing for free. Like you said, the biggest excuse that most people have with like getting into publishing and why they don't is because, oh, I don't have money. I don't have money is the worst excuse ever. A lot of people think it's a legitimate excuse because you, it costs money to get started, which is true if you outsource everything. Outsourcing costs money. And running a bit that's the best way to run a business is you outsource tasks because your time is limited. So you outsource tasks to people, someone who can do a better job than you, you pay them, you get the stuff back, the, the book, the narration, and then you paid people and then you publish it and then you make money. But you don't need money. And how do you and how do you publish without any money? You do the things yourself. Okay? So there are three big aspects, three main aspects that go into publishing an audiobook. Number one. Number one is you need to have a book written. First I'll name the three. A book written or a written book, a cover and narration, okay? So having the book written is normally the biggest expense in publishing and it can get pricey, relatively speaking, to like what people think is a lot of money. When when you think of what it actually if is, it's not it a like lot of money at all. Then yeah, because it's like equal to like one month's rent. All right, I'll have to repeat what I said because you just talked over me. So relative to publishing, the book writing process is the most expensive part. But if you just have some perspective, you realize that it's not a lot of money at all. It's in the neighborhood of $500, 500 600 depending on how long you want the book to be. But if you just have some perspective and realize that you're paying to have a book written for you, like, oh, $500, holy shit. But you're getting a book written that you're going to publish and make thousands of dollars with. But again, that, that's for a whole different video, that rant. So how do you get around that $500 investment if you don't have it? Again, it's only if you don't have the money do we recommend publishing the free way. If you have the money, you should invest in your business. But some people don't and that's completely okay. We were there, everyone is there at some point where they don't have any money to invest. But they still have the drive and the ambition to get started. So what it is, obviously, you write the book yourself. And that might seem very, very intimidating. Like, oh, I have to be a writer. Uh, writing a book. I, I can't do that. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. I bet 99% of people think, oh, I can't write a book. So that's why I haven't gotten started with publishing. And the truth is that it's a lot easier than you think. It is a lot easier than you think. It's not traditionally just sitting down and writing a 200 page document like you would probably imagine. Uh, because we suggest a 30,000 long word book. 30,000, does that make sense? 30,000 long word book. A 30,000 word long book, which is about 120, 150 pages. Now to sit down and write that, yes, that will take you a long time. And that you might not be very good at. I know I wouldn't be able to do that. I cannot write a book like that. No. See, I don't have the skills to do that, yet I, I can still write my own books. I don't have the skills nor the time. Yeah, I mean, I, I could, but no, the time not worth it. and all the effort, no. Take so it forever. That's what normally you would pay a writer to do for you. But if you don't have the money to do that, you write something yourself. But you don't need the skills to be able to do that because that's not how you're writing books. Not for audio at least, sorry. That's not how you're writing audiobooks. Audiobooks is the main focus here because they can make the most money. So don't view it as, I need to write a book. View it as, I need to write an audiobook manuscript. Now to some people, that might not make sense. Like, oh, what the fuck is the difference? It's the same thing. But it really isn't. 
I wish I could sit here and round off 10 different examples of audiobooks that you could write yourself. But I'm not going to do that because we've learned that every time we give away any sort of niche, keyword, any specific kind of book to make, things like that, and we say to people, don't do this, don't steal it. Everyone steals it, everyone goes into it. So out of respect for people who are making these kinds of books, we don't want to mention the books. Yeah, I want to press that we're not gonna be mentioning any specific specific types of books for you to write. Yeah, but here's the premise of it. Can I give an example? In our course, the main example that we used throughout the entire course was like ketogenic diet for beginners. We can mention that because we've said it in so many videos. I know, keto diet for beginners. Yeah. Now, keto diet for beginners is... Don't say it's ruined, it's not ruined. It's, you still make it's money not with. ruined, but a keto diet for beginners book Beginner, in, in itself. Beginners got how to lose weight. That does not work. Right now, there's way too many out there and they're all the same. You cannot publish that and make good money with it. You At, can't anymore. Yeah. It was like that a while ago, but everyone... <laughs> everyone just went in and copied it and stole it. Uh -huh. So we're not going to do that anymore. So, yeah, writing your audiobooks yourself. You're going to write an audiobook that's not 30,000 words long, like we said. Uh, it could be less than 5,000 words long. It could be like one, two, three... Let's say it's just less than 5,000 words long, which is just like a long blog post, which anyone can write in one day. But here's what you have to do. You have to think of a way that you can create an audiobook that has information in it that one, you can easily gather from the internet without copying or stealing or plagiarizing. Number two, it is best consumed in audio format. There are some pieces of information that are best consumed as audio. And then three is how you can streamline the process. Did that like kind of sum it up? Yeah, I, I have something that I think will help people think of it like this. Mm -hmm. So. Audiobooks, for me, when I consume an audiobook, there are certain things, certain types of information that are better consumed as an audiobook mm -hmm. as opposed to written. So for me, and I think it applies to a lot of people as well, if I want to memorize information and, and learn remember something. and memorize information, yes. then it's best consumed as an audiobook. So you can put it on repeat mm -hmm. and then you know the whole memorization process happens, whatever. So think about what are things that people want to memorize, or, or learn, learn in I that think sense. Learn is the best, better word. It's not just information that you consume once, but something you want to consume over and over so that it gets ingrained in your head. Yeah. Should we give examples? No. I can't give we, examples. No, we were just saying that's it, what we it's can not, do. It's not that complicated. We can't it's pretty give obvious. Examples. It's pretty obvious. You were saying should we give examples? We no, we can't. We can't. We're not going to give examples. No. Uh, I really wanted to. But, but that gives a good foundation of the kinds of books you can easily write yourself. I will give you and a different kind of example is that I wrote seven in five days and they've made me a lot of money and did not cost me anything to have written. Uh, right now we're actually writing some of our own. Mm -hmm. we, normally we would never do that because it's time consuming, but we figured out ones that we really want to try, things that are consumed really well audially, does that make sense, audially, yes. and something that we can streamline and that we can easily take the inf information from the internet and put it into audio format and it's like a valuable piece of content. Yeah. So we're actually making a brand around these books and a series. And we're writing them all ourselves. Well, in the beginning, we're writing them ourselves and then I kind of want to train someone to write them. Just use our old books as a template. Because in the beginning, it's much more time efficient mm -hmm. to writing ourselves as opposed to teaching someone to write it. Let me yeah. just do it myself and then you can look after it. And to learn the brand and things yeah. like that. So that's the first thing, is writing them yourself, completely free. Completely free, a lot easier than you think, okay? Remember, you want to hit around that three hour long audiobook mark. We have videos talking about shit like that. I, I want to say these books that we're writing right now ourselves, they're, are so, they're so actually useful for the people that are buying them. Yep. Like they're actually going to be helping them in their life. We will be getting repeat customers. Mm -hmm. You're gonna buy one, like wow, I learned a lot of that. Now, what other books are under this brand? Mm. Let me buy those, let me buy those. Yada, another, yada, yada. another video idea mm -hmm. based on things that we've learned is just the immense importance of the quality of your book and audiobook. Mm -hmm. So we'll make a new video, another video talking about why that's so fucking important and why that is our number one focus now in our publishing business, is making high quality content. So that covers the writing, $500, $600, boom, free, okay. Again, here's the thing. Yeah, I know you wanted to say, write this kind of book. We can't do it because then everyone will do yeah. it and it'll ruin it. So it usually you, can't be done. You need to sit down, you need to brainstorm, write down ideas, think outside of the box, look on Audible, see what kind of audiobooks there are to get like ideas, see what isn't there, find holes in the market. You, this is what really takes brainstorming. And this is what will separate you from other people if you find a good idea and actually execute on it. So, 
book writing done. And then the second thing is a book cover, okay? You can make a book cover for free and just with any fo online photo editing software like GIMP, Paint.net, or I'm sure there's other ones. All it is is you're designing a book cover. Title, subtitle, author, image. name, uh, stock image, make it look nice, things like that. But I will say I would not recommend you to even, create your even own. Even if you're broke. Even if you're broke because, simply because you could go to Fiverr and have a professionally one made for five dollars plus fiber fees seven dollars seven dollars and zero cents boom just invest that into the business at least yeah. okay seven dollars to have a good cover made because the cover is huge but you can make it yourself the point is that you can do everything yourself okay so that covers book writing and cover and then the third big thing again there are other things like description shit like that but you do that yourself and then third thing is narration you can have your book narrated into an audio completely for free it's really easy using on ACX the royalty share option. The royalty share option is a thing that is available. There are two options, royalty share and per full hour. Per full hour is the normal way. You pay a narrator to narrate your audiobook for you or the royalty share where the narrator will narrate it for free in exchange for 50% of your lifetime royalties. So the reason we don't ever talk about it is because we don't recommend anyone doing it because in the long run you will probably lose a lot of money in lifetime royalties but if you don't have any money you don't have much of a choice if you don't have 150 200 to invest in a narrator you don't have much of a choice and you can still get started with audiobook publishing there's nothing wrong with doing royalty share now you will probably lose money in the long run but that's okay because you got it out there for free so the first dollar that you make will technically be profit and just the fact that it got you started it got you started in publishing and then you'll learn and you'll take it from there. You'll make money and then you have money to invest. Yada, yada. That, that's how a, a good publishing business begins. A hustler in the beginning who just finds has to a drive. fucking way even yes. if you don't have any money. Yeah, find And writing your own books, yeah, it is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. If you want to live the life of your dreams and actually have a successful business, you have to put in a lot of work. Mm -hmm. All of these people that you see having success put in so much work. Mm -hmm. Well, like we talked about, this will be another video. Yeah. I thought about two video ideas. It's the whole rite of passage mm -hmm. analogy that you brought along. Like the first year of entrepreneurship is definitely without a doubt the hardest and it could last more, year, year, one year minimum. One, two, three years uh, are definitely the hardest, require the most sacrifice and a shitload of work and uh, an obsession. To making this shit work i think it's good to view that first year the struggle the grind the hustle as like a rite of passage mm -hmm. a rite of passage to make it to the other side so a lot of people have asked i have no money how can i start my publishing business oh she's sleeping and then i say okay write your own books and then they listen okay and they never do because they're not willing to put in the work and if you're not willing to put in the work you can't have this i will you can't have it so Let's end it on that, unless you have anything else to say. Yeah, I will save the rant. I will say what I want to rant about. And that is, I have told many people, like a uh, double digit amount of people, at least 10 people, about a bunch of audiobook ideas that you could write for yourself. Uh, so, and I tell them to get started, because given your situation, you don't have money to invest, get started. And like, I really want you to su succeed. I really want you to get into this and start making money with publishing. So I'm gonna tell you like just 10 of my ideas off the top of your head, top off the top of my head that you could create audiobooks on in no time. And no one has done it. Everyone has just been like, oh, okay. And they probably don't have money because they don't work hard. And then that's why they're not actually willing to put in the work to make this shit happen. That wraps up this video. Mm -hmm. What is the magic emoji of the video? Uh, can it be, let's see. It's the squid emoji. <laughs> nah, 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 squid emoji, squid emoji. <laughs> okay, nice, squid emoji. That's Ollie's favorite emoji, so I just got inspired by him. Yeah. With All that right. said, we will see you guys. And her name's Missy, by the way. Yeah. This is Missy. Even if video. you don't have money, you can still get started publishing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>